Christ crown our heads. No excuses, it's been said. Purple shields raise parts and roll with heart and pride we're led. Learning is always fulfilled. Endless battles test our wills forevermore. We make our pact all hail the Rupa Hills. Welcome back, Spartans. I'm Lynn Tolson. And I'm Derek Beeman. And you're watching Spartan TV! You know, there's so many great career opportunities out there, I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, there is a lot, but luckily for you, one of our TV3 Spartans made a great package on radiology. Radiology? Sounds interesting. Why don't we check it out? Have you ever wanted to get into the medical field but did not know what profession to get into? Are you interested in specializing in treating patients that have cancer or tumors? Then becoming a radiation therapist might be the profession just for you, if you are interested in helping treat patients with cancer or tumors. Radiation therapists are responsible for carrying out the treatment by radiation oncologists, determining the exact location of the area that requires the treatment, monitoring patients throughout the procedure for any unusual reactions during the treatment, maintaining machines to make sure they're working and to ensure safety. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen, especially in the medical field. Using the radiation machines to treat your patients, it's, it's literally in the name of the job, guys. Like, come on. To become a radiation therapist, you will need at least an associate or bachelor's degree in the science of radiobiology, as it depends on most hospitals, but either one is required. It is recommended that you enroll into radiation therapy programs as that will prepare you for operating and treating patients once you get into the field. If you are interested in helping people with cancer, tumors, and other diseases while also working with some science aspects, this could be the career just for you. It may be challenging, but it will be rewarding in the end if you choose to head into this career path. Man, that's such a cool career. Yeah, it really brought up my options to what I'd want to pursue. Well, if you're interested in sciences, you should consider joining CalSci. I've heard about CalSci. I don't know too much about it, but I'd love to learn more. I started this club because I realized that there was like a lack of STEM representation at Harupa Hills, since we are a little bit more performing arts space, like we have to do production and drama, which is why I felt so inclined to start this. I also noticed that there's many experiences in my life, in my friend's life, how we kind of have these moments where we feel like we can't do STEM because of like certain factors, like, oh, I'm not smart enough, I don't have the good grades or something like that. But I w really want this club to be a space where we all can be like nerds openly and also like just be together and be our like support system. In the club, we have like this little system what we do is the letters of STEM. So we have S-T-E-M, science, technology, engineering, and math. So what we like to do is have each week be a different letter and a concept in that field. So for example, for science week, we learned about bacteria pages, which are basically viruses that infect bacteria. For technology, we did like some things with Python. Engineering, we did a contest. So we kind of wanted to cover different concepts in each letter of STEM, and we kind of rotate it back. STEM, you are fully capable of doing it. And I feel like the really cool thing about our club is that we are a support system. We provide tutoring, we provide opportunities, and we want to give you guys access to things that you won't get anywhere else, basically. I know like a huge misconception is that like, you can only come here if you want to do STEM for sure. No, the club is meant to introduce you to STEM fields. Today we talked about microbio, molecular bio, we also talked about gynecology. Oh, and our motto is making STEM a better place. Man, Jay Hills is full of so many great clubs and CalSite is only one of the many we have. Really? What other clubs do we have? Why don't we check? What are you doing? We're in the middle of our show. I'm going on Teams to see what clubs we have. On your phone? Yeah, it's more convenient that way. I just look under Team Harupa Students. Let me see. Hey, you guys have football game tomorrow? Um, is it home or what? It's a wait. Uh, yeah, probably. Hey, have you checked the English project on Teams? Nah, it's pointless. Look, she didn't talk about it in class. 
she keeps us updated and she gives us important information that she doesn't say in class though. My phone barely has storage. So especially with everything online nowadays, you should get teams on your phone. Also, you could check up upcoming events like sports and stuff. When you're out of town and you don't have access to a laptop and your assignment is due at midnight, it would be useful to have teams on your phone so you could turn in all your assignments on time without worrying about a laptop on you. You see? Yeah, you're right. I should get teams on my phone, especially when I want that A in that class. I need to download Teams right now. Ooh, I have an assignment due next period. While your app downloads, why don't we take a break? Oh yeah, we'll be right back. Oh, hey there little baby rattlesnake. 20 feet doesn't seem that high. Bleach is clear just like water. I wonder what it tastes like. You're gonna drive over here and I'm gonna jump over the car. Remember Spartans, be safe. Because you know Hi everyone, this is Miss Hensley and I'm back with your ASL phrase of the week. This week's phrase is a question. Do you ride the bus to go to school? And it would be signed like this. We're back from our break and I have teams on my phone now. Cool. Now you won't miss out on anything. You know, last week I was really confused. I almost missed a deadline for homecoming tickets because I wasn't sure where I was supposed to pay my dues. Yeah, teams gave you that information. And good news is, we got a new bookkeeper now. For those of you who don't know how to pay dues and such, here it is. My first impression of Hidopa High School was that it's a beautiful campus. My previous position was as a budget tech at Fontana High School. Student hours will be the same from 8 a.m. to 8.30 and during first and second lunch and after school at 3.30 to 4. I'm really excited to be a bookkeeper and getting to know all the students here on campus. Well, I'm glad I heard there's a new bookkeeper and I know where to pay all my dues now. Yep, our deal announcements with Malaysia are also a great way to receive information. That's right. One thing that didn't get mentioned for time is the fact that our tennis team has their senior night coming up. We'll be there to capture this special night and hope you will be there too to catch the recap on next Friday's show. Congratulations to our amazing girls tennis team. What do you say we go to some announcements? This Friday is our Think Pink football game. It's not only going to be another fun event to be a part of, but also a chance for your little siblings to cheer the team on alongside our cheer team. See Coach Thomas and G100 for more information. This month is all about college applications. Our seniors will work on applying to colleges and schools of all types, but they will want to wait to hit the submit button on November 7th during I Apply Day. If you're confused, see your senior seminar teacher, your counselors, or AVID instructor. Our staff is here to help. Have you seen these green papers around school? Well, seniors and juniors, this is a great opportunity for those of you who may be considering building a construction as a possible career move. Scan the QR code to, move, to sign up. The presentation will be this upcoming Monday the 16th, and reps from important companies will be there. Well, that's all we have for you today. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and subscribe for more. The rally is up. We leave you now with more images from our homecoming weekend. We'll see you again Friday, but in the meantime, make it a great day, Spartans. You, you deserve, deserve it. it.